Welcome, everyone, to another edition of The Daily Night. I am your host, Brian Smith, and today is about NIL money, UCF, and student-athletes competing for the Knights. Recently, as in yesterday, Davin Widener, the walk-on quarterback from local high school Coco over on the east coast of Florida, announced that he has an NIL deal via social media. I'm going to throw that up here on the screen in just a second, but I'm going to use what Davin put up as a really significant, if you will, point of interest. A lot of schools announce what they have in some way, shape, or form, or advise, et cetera, the players, and I'm not sure exactly what UCF does. That's that's their business, but they've been pretty active, and this just kind of shows overall what UCF athletes can do. Widener has not played a down for the Knights. Widener has not been given a scholarship, yet he is going to earn money. This is something that just kind of puts it into perspective how NIL is different. And whether you agree with it, disagree with it, or what have you, probably not going anywhere. That being stated, a few points. This is going to be a very short podcast, just a one-segment deal, but it's very important. The point is this. If Widener can get a deal, has it played it down, has it put on the helmet, Imagine what an elite player can do for the Knights, a guy that's projected to go to the draft. In other words, Traymond Morris Brash would be a great example. How about Isaiah Bowser? Perhaps another player like Jalen Robinson or Ryan O'Keefe, Devontae Brown. These are guys that have NFL aspirations, but prior to leaving Orlando, what can they possibly do? Here's the key. It's up to them. NIL is not just in a small vacuum for a handful of schools. It's for anybody. Widener is proof of this. And I just wanted to bring it up as a reminder. It is not supposed to be anything more or anything less than an opportunity to each his or her own. Yes, that means women's sports as well. There are going to be members of the basketball team, members of the volleyball team, whatever it may be, that will profit from NIL while being a student athlete under the direction of the athletic department at UCF. It's not as hard as people make it out to be. And of course, it depends on position, circumstance, et cetera. It's just cool that a guy that hasn't even played yet is getting a deal. Does that mean there's going to be every recruit coming in getting one? Probably not. But good for Widener and good for anybody else that comes across an opportunity and takes that opportunity and seizes it. Last point before I wrap this up, and again, this is a very simple podcast. If UCF is going to shoot up even further in the trajectory of the college football world, the coaching staff, and they know this, has to find ways to make sure that athletes are given the best information to understand how to navigate NIL as it changes. This is a two-hour podcast within itself conservatively, but I'm just going to touch upon this point. Every year in every state, there's going to be something that changes. The legislature in Florida is going to be different than the one in Hawaii. The one in Wyoming is going to be different than the one in Texas. They need to be able to adapt. Just stating the obvious, have to put it out there. When something comes down and there's rules and laws that are going to be placed about at schools, but then they got to go by the the fellowship of what's going on in the state, and then there could be a federal mandate, you must adapt and do it immediately to maximize. Recruits look at it. Do you blame them? They want to make money and they want to maximize their dollars while they're in college, whether they go to the pros or not. So with that, good for Widener, good for UCF, and good for the kids that are going to go out there and try to make some money. Remember, you don't have to be top of the board and be Bryce Young winning the Heisman to get paid for NIL. Widener is a great example of that. With that, everybody have a great day. Make sure you hit like subscribe, and make sure you also hit that notification bell. Thank you very much. Have a good one.